Euro Ben Marine. It's Monday, May 13, 2020. But it's raining again. You can see all of it there. Uh, this is the second time it is raining today. I have to relocate my belongings over that corner. Uh, I don't know if they are going to call the police or not, but earlier all my stuff got wet. So, it seems I have no, no other choice. I look at it I'm here again. I don't know how many times I have to do this until some help comes my way. And also I don't know if they are going to call the police. In this area it's beautiful. Like uh, let me turn the camera. So it's a bit like this, so the rain, when it rains, it doesn't cast this corner, uh, not as much as over there. That's how the situation looks like right now. I don't know if you can really see the rain. So it's another rainy day outside here in the Seattle office. I'm still without shelter and without help from. Uh, almost everywhere, no help is coming. Uh, your support remain really crucial. Please sign my petition at the end of the website the bureau. Please also consider making a donation uh, at gogetfunding.com slash after the bureau. I need a minimum of 500 euros to be able to procure another tent. And, uh, I will shelter the power under circumstances like this. And this is the UNHCR, the woman who you see over there is one of their employees. And that's how it is in situation. So it's Thursday, midnight, May 16th, half past 12. I woke up again by the rain outside the UNHCR office, as you can see from the damp ground and from the entrance. All my belongings already got wet. Given the dire circumstances, I urge you all to kindly go uh, make a donation at gogetfunding.com slash the zero. You also sign my petition at sandwich.org slash the zero. Share each of the campaigns. Share this video, post a comment, uh, subscribe, like, follow, any other help would be greatly appreciated. I also need food. Uh, it's now Tuesday, May 21st, 2024, still outside UNHCR's office. Uh, we are coming to work now, it's uh, early morning and uh, it's almost one month since the demolition of my seventh shelter here, still without money, I have absolutely nothing, no money and uh, starving almost every day uh, with little food received from some people probably uh, in one month probably have uh, had 10 meals or so so severely starving every day and uh, sometimes I have to spend uh, a lot of energy cleaning this area from the leaves and dust because 
there is a cleaning lady here but uh, she doesn't uh, clean the area surrounding myself and uh, I will show you in a moment I have to get the broom from the supermarket if they give me nevertheless uh, your help remains crucial both for uh, acquiring another shelter for all it we see here picture uh, they have destroyed now for six time it cost me uh, no less than 500 euros only shelter and the accessories that I need like blankets timbers around uh, wood inside towers etc uh, so I have to help you again as there is no denotions coming from the people uh, from this country uh, and um, the food they also sometimes as I mentioned provide is just so little or it's just so humiliating and if I didn't need energy I wouldn't have eaten that either but I don't want to be hungry I have so much work to do uh, I don't want to die of starvation in this country, I need to go after my life. Uh, so, kindly I urge you again to go sign my petition to change the door the of Europe. Uh, share it wherever you can. Also, sign my petition, make a donation at gogetfunding.com slash hostage of Europe. Share it wherever you can. If you visit the campaign and uh, you will see there are other uh, there are also a lot of other campaigns based in this country and uh, which have received a lot of donations yet when it come, comes to this cause people come passing by from here sometimes they stop by take a picture yet when they go away then still no donation comes so that's how their attitude is of this situation here, uh, your support remains crucial. Please help if you know also anybody from the press, from media, tell them and uh, support in any way. Thank you. I will also now show you how I, I do cleaning around here every day, every morning. So that's another problematic situation for me among dust and insects, ants all the time, and spiders from time to time, uh, so... have to go get the broom from the supermarket to clean this area and you will see how much leaves uh, will be collected from my around myself most of the time they come right on top of me so there is a thing
Thanks for cleaning. Um, I have cleaned the area. My little would be the same as in a short while. But I have to clean it anyway. Now I will have to use the small green area nearby, 150 meters. So I have to use it every day for to pee to relieve myself and then uh, wash my face and bring some water from the other side across the street. There is a water tank there. Yes, the water they even even they won't even provide water. It's a famine-like situation. Extremely horrible. So basically, you need to yeah. uh, Rather than rectifying my dire predicament has been waging a war on me like, for a decade uh, by denying my entry to the building, criminalizing my case, assaulting me, sending me to detention, court, prison, uh, uh, weaponizing food and water. Uh, demolishing my shelter, which has now happened, has happened for the seventh time, uh, covering up my dire situation. So they have been using everything, every means at their disposal uh, to do the exact opposite of what they are supposed to do, helping refugees, resolving, uh, fulfilling their mandate. Uh, and that's what I'm dealing with. Uh, it makes your support even more crucial than ever before. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on other social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Like this video, post a comment, share it wherever you can. Tell the press, tell the media. Um, if you are in Greece, you can call your representative in the parliament, you can call the Greek authorities uh, to come to the UN office and attend to this issue. Uh, furthermore, if you are able to support me further besides signing my petition and making a donation, you know where to find me. I'm outside the UNHCR office. You can always bring me food. Uh, you can also donate in person. I have a list. You will resist it on the list and make your donation. Uh, you can ask if you are part of a group, activist groups, political group, whatever, um, that you can organize a demonstration here. Uh, that may also help. So please support. Thank you.